Okay, so there's this uh, method I use. I just wanted to share on how I rig the eyes. Most of the time, characters in combat are always facing target, mostly an enemy. And when you're animating these characters and you want them to move their body, I see the eyes just rotating with everywhere it's going, which is very annoying. Which means I have to always correct. Nobody looks like this man. So what I did was I added a bone, this bone, and I called it look. It's the same method that's been used. You set the eyes, these two eye bones, and you apply damp track constraint, which is this one. Your target should be the rig, then your bone should be the look bone. You do it for both bones. Same thing here. Yeah, then the other thing I did, I added these two eyebrow bones. I added a copy location constraint. Then I set the influence at 0.01. Then now, when I do this, um, now this one was set to 0.01. If you set it at 1, you're not going to get a good uh, result. Because you can easily just bring it closer. Oh, look at this bed. Turn up my. Oh, what is that? Turn up. <laughs> Anyway, the other thing you want to add is a limit rotation. For instance, when you take this down, you can see it's looking down, you really don't want this. So what you do to avoid that is you go to the eye and you add a limit rotation constraint, which I've already added for the eyes here. Let me enable this one so that we can see because of the limit and rotation, it doesn't go beyond that. The other eye can be set as well. Once I enable it, it should solve problem that's it right there so there it is I printed this loop bone to the root bone and the reason why I did this was when the power body is rotating or turning around because this loop bone is printed to the root bone keeps the focus of the eyes towards this direction then I move, move. see I'm still looking I'm still looking at its focus can see it's still looking. Now if I decide to move this, even when you move the head, this is more like it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.